Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin, and by popular, well, it's not really a demand, back but popular demand. Not on their part, on my part. <laughs> yeah, um, I may have created a monster, Moonstone Papa himself. My husband's here. Um, we're gonna be opening up a big old box that I had got from Shop Goodwill. Um, it's another one of those um, funky fold-over boxes. I always like to open up on camera so that people don't think I'm lacing the bag with uh, other goods and such. Folded glory. We have a number eight on here. I didn't get the um, the size on um, Shop Goodwill. I just picked a grab bag. This seems to be as big, or if not bigger, than the last time. I don't it's know how you same. feel about it. Um, you didn't do your intro. Oh, well, for everyone who just comes for the intro. Hi, hello, how are you? And for returning subscribers, so glad that you're here with us today. I wanna to thank all the new subscribers and welcome everybody. I'm almost to the big 400, which is closer to the big 1,000. So um, really excited to get another unboxing going and to change things up, you know, with the new year. Always looking forward to um, new content, giving you new things, exciting things, that's my my mo so where's your tool oh i have i'm all frazzled since you're here i'm keeping it simple today i have my loop i have a ruler and i have my scissors which i use so my light is going out on my um oh now it's all supercharged my light's going out on my um my loop i think i need to change it but um i need to tighten it but anyways okay so let's get started um i don't know I'm just gonna, oh, we'll see there's some pack. This one just kind of fell out. I think there's something written in here. It's just an empty box that says Burks. Looks like this was somebody's Michigan Pin St. Paul's Cathedral. Yeah, I don't know. I hope we find the other part of this. I'm not sure that's really, it's really nice. Oh, you found the other side already? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I don't know what's in there. Oh. I don't know if anything was in there. Well, we got a really pretty box, if anything. Very cute. Okay, so let's just start pulling. Let's just start going. Seeing what we got. I didn't even grab my magnet. I honestly am literally butterfingers. I think it's because my mind is literally everywhere tonight. I guess, I bet people can relate. Sometimes you just have those days where you drop everything. Today was one of those days. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out was this brooch. It's a wooden brooch. Um, it is a snowman. All right, this looks like, feels like glass beads. Green, post back. Oh, nice. Cute, okay. Ooh. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his work. Initials of faith. It's a D for Devin though. That's pretty cool. 1999. Look at that. It's a rose. No, oh, it's pretty cute. It's nice and good condition. Right on. Okay. okay. That looks like we have a bag of stuff. Designer jewelry, so it looks like mini leaf. Looks like we have heart charms and then some more heart charms. And then also in the bag, looks like these are two like glass fishes. They're cute, they're beads. Glass beads? Yeah. They're cute. Right on. Well, cool. Well, this is uh, definitely going to craft lot for somebody, and um, I do get requests um, to make craft lots for people. 
I'm always down to do so. You just gotta let me know what you're interested in and I'll definitely fill up a box for you. Okay, and then we got, oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. This is definitely vintage. This is Mother of Pearl and it's carved to look like a butterfly. Oh, I hope we get the other one. That is beautiful. Check that out. No smile on this one. No smile on that butterfly. Only on the inside. Yeah, that's where we all can smile. Looks like we've got some earrings. Maggie Lawrence. Looks like it was $5 at one point, so it just seems like it's silver tone. Nice staple pieces. I'll go ahead and put these in the uh, craft lot as well since it's missing two and I wouldn't want to sell them like that. Ooh, we have a jelly bangle. So what makes it jelly? It's the glitter on the ends. Oh. See that? It's bendy. That's my youth. Ooh, and this too. Bracelets? We got one of these. Um, pro tip, or mom pro tip, if you can't find your scrunchies because your daughter likes to run off with them, these make really great scrunchies in your hair. They call them like a bobble or something, um, but these ones work just the same. So. And, and if it's stretched out, you put it in cold water and it turns back to the original shape. Hey there. All right, well, it looks like we have an explosion. So I'm gonna put that in the craft lot. It might have come from a larger explosion. Not certain, but we'll find out. Okay, we have a flower. Oh, it broke. Dang. Did you ever do this? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, okay, so I want to find the apex of the explosion, so I'm going to try to work around it here. Um, looks like these are just uh, shells. A little bit of uh, string coming off of it. Hand that over to you. It looks like we have another plastic bit, and I'm just going to throw it in the bin. Okay, this looks like there's some more... Maybe we're getting, yes, okay, maybe we're getting closer to the explosion. It looks like this was the culprit. Do you want to grab that um, Ziploc bag from here? And uh, I will put this sad, looks like, it looks truly vintage. Uh, there's a lot of verdigris on the, on here. It'll focus, lots of verdigris. Um, gosh. But these might be, I don't know. Um, I may have to just toss this, to be honest, because as you can see, um, the iridescent lacquer or paint's coming off of here. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss these, but I'll keep uh, the beads that fall through. Maybe they're better quality. A lot of the ones that look similar, but they're yeah. still intact. And they're um, some kind of, are they a phase? Can you see that? It just looks like it's carved in no particular. Yeah, well, just we'll put these with the earrings. Hopefully we'll get the other ones. And then we have a single earring on here. This is, oh my gosh, someone set off a firework. Um, this is Lieberback, silver tone. They're, they're a little bit of weight to them. I'll put that in the, um, Earrings, those are what those are. Oh, this is nice, but it has a hole. And it's got verdigris on it. Verdigris is the green. Um, it's it, it spreads like wildfire to your other uh, jewelry. Um, it's jewelry's enemy. It's not good. It's cockadoo. Um, and uh, a lot of times a little hot water and uh, dawn We'll take care of it and scrubby, scrubby, scrubberoo, but um, you know, on, on something like that, I might just go ahead and, and toss it. See, that this one has a lot of it as well. A lot of built up. This looks like it was repaired at one time and it is chipped right here. And this is, it's a vintage, obviously, because of the screw back, um, but it, the glue is just yellowing and it, it's, it's not in very good shape, so. Um, I might see if I can try to um, take the screw back off. I don't know, but 
sauce in. Okay, and wow. Um, what is it? It's, it's, it's not a pendant. Mm, mm, no. No. This is like uh, legit. Hang it on your outside house or something? Or, or something. I, I, I'm not, um, I don't know. You might have gone to a bigger piece of wood or something. Well, it's a cross. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, yeah, that's Jesus. There he is. All right, let's see what else we can find in here. Oh, here we go. Uh, this looks like at one point it might have played, or maybe Twinklers. Maybe it might have played something at some time, or maybe his eyeballs lit up. <laughs> I don't know. Check that out. Ooh. Yeah, the eyeballs in his buttons. Oh, um, I have, I think this might be a Giovanni. Um, maybe, I don't know. I have one that's very similar to this, but there's no markings on this one that I can see. But this is a very nice brooch, silver tone. Rose, it's gorgeous. It's in excellent condition. Aside from a little wear right there. That's great. I'm gonna put that in the brooch pile. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this looks like here's a little bit more. Um, this this can go in the craft lot. This is this is pretty okay. I could see someone using utilizing those rhinestones. It doesn't look too. Uh, it looks bad. But someone could still utilize the rhinestones. Put that in the bag there. I'm gonna pull too hard. I don't know what'll come out. Um, this looks like it's just a gold tone. The foldover clasp might have been replaced at one time. This is this is beyond something that I would even consider um, reselling. It's it's not. It's very. Worn out. Yeah, very worn out. And this is, um, someone's taking the time to make that. Is it elastic bands? Yeah, or? it's those, um, rubber band craft things. Okay. Looks. Junk it? Yeah, we'll, we'll toss it in the bin. I think we found something that could make up for all the junkin'. This looks like liquid silver. This looks like a fetish necklace. And the reason it's a fetish necklace is because of these birds. I think this is liquid silver. Let's go ahead and put this down here. Yeah, it's not picking up on the magnet. We need to make a test pile for this. I'm sorry, that is the sound of the ruler. You might hear my daughter in the background. We put her to bed, but she's not quite asleep yet. So that is a nice find. That made all ball for all the stuff we've had to toss so far. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have another, I know pink is breast cancer, so this is a breast cancer, this is probably someone handmade this for the awareness, put on the brooch lot. This is just a long material with, um, looks like resin beaded, gray color, long layered necklace. Go ahead and put those with the necklaces. Have another pearl necklace that I'll look at. It's like the pearl box here. It's another one. This is an excellent condition. So that's really great to see. Very cool. And they're already dirty. Cool, cool, cool. Put this with the necklaces. Oh, look, I'm just gonna pull this out. This is, oh, paparazzi. You know, I honestly don't know too much about paparazzi, um, but this is cute. I like the teal kind of color with the gray or the um, silver tone color. That's nice, and it's new. Can't beat that. Pull oh, another chunk. This may have to be a um, uh, <laughs> two-part video. This is a plastic little ring here. That's cute. What does it say? Made in China. Right on. That's cute. We gotta practice on our Christmas lights so we can get better at yeah, these unboxing. 
Okay, this one is a stretch uh, Mille Fiore, it looks like prayer necklace. Gonna... Oh. Honestly. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> it's a craft lot. Man. It's a craft lot. <laughs> Good golly. This has kind of been her day so far. Yeah, I've literally... Pick up one thing, drop three things. By the time you pick up those three things, you drop another four or five things. And... Found a little um, pin, though. That's cute. It's a little heart. And the heart looks like it has uh, marbled or enamel in here with the cap, which is really cool. That's nice. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to find another bead. Let's just keep the craft thing open. Oh, Oh, that looks like um, the Freemasons. Uh, maybe not the official Freemasons, but some kind of Mason, some kind of Masonic. It's got the trowel, the hammer. It sure the does. Compass. Looks like a, a but, plane. But it could be like I don't a, know, man. Like a, a side chapter. Here's another one of that. All they right. don't call them side chapters. But oh, this is just um, tangled. No, it's oh, this is a so skeleton. skeleton. Cute, but it's so worn. That is so cute though. This is um like suede, but it's just broken for the craft lot. Uh, yeah, it's beyond repair. The suede is just falling apart and crumbling. This is some more material. I'm just gonna toss this. This is an American flag brooch, which that's cool. It looks patriotic. Looked, yeah, appears to have all of its rhinestones, which is great. Fourth of July is coming up hot. Yeah. Sort of, not really. This is a cross with a goblet on it, like the um, Indiana Jones when he has to choose. That's my favorite Indiana Jones movie. Was it The Last Crusade? Yeah, The Last Crusade. I love that one. The Chalice. I think because honestly, I would love to go on a scavenger hunt, and he has to go on a scavenger hunt. It's just, it's just real cool to me. Um, plus, those movies are like reminiscent of being home and anyways this is a gold tone necklace but unfortunately it is broken but what I'm going to do is put it in the craft lot because someone can maybe utilize this chain to make other jewelry out of this garbage, huh? yeah that little plastic Oh, looks like fun uh, sunglasses sunglasses the there's some more beads here or oh, I dropped them and now they're gone um, okay, uh, wow, this is beautiful. Goodness, it does appear to be missing quite a bit of stones, but this is really pretty, and it appears that the fold over clasp at one point, I do believe, may have been repaired. Um, so I don't believe this is the original, but this is heavy and beautiful. Wouldn't that be funny if those were real opals? <laughs> I don't think they are. Wouldn't that be funny? Okay. <gasps> what? I know. A little chair? A chair for the queen and a football for the old bean. Oh, I'm just so jazzed about the chair. Oh, it's missing a few rhinestones, but how cute is that? We'll go ahead and put this aside. I want to take a, a closer look at that. Um, at a later time. I'm so geeking out about this chair. How cute, I'm gonna set this right here. Okay, these are matchy matchy, which is always very nice. These are clip-on earrings. They look to be in amazing condition. A little soap and water, clean them right up. Oh, this is pretty. This is, it appears to maybe be a rose or some other kind of large petaled flower. You know what that flower is? It kind of looks like a rose, but... But the, the petals are too big. Mm. I don't know. We're not um, florists. No, or we're not. Any... But my mom would probably be able to tell you what this is. Um, this looks like an earring. So we'll put this with the earring. Um, and this is an, another um, vintage earring. It is a clip-on. Go ahead and put that in the earrings. Ooh, okay. Canada! I found another Canada brooch the other day. It was so super cute, so I'm really excited about it. Plus, I love maple syrup. Um, okay, so here's another, uh, appears to be a brooch of some kind. Oh my gosh, it's just a locket. 
It is. It is yeah, I am Sean Connery. It is a locket. That is the coolest. I love stuff like that. No uh, marks that I can see, but cool. Put that in the broke slot. Governor. Oh my gosh, are you just pulling out all the cool stuff or what? <laughs> the stuff that's not tangled. Ooh, okay. Um, is this a belt? I don't know either way it's broken. Oh, it looks like it could be repaired. It's, it's very lightweight. It's costume for sure. Yeah. Because it's plastic. Yeah, but it's cool. I like it a lot. Okay, let's put out the necklaces because I can repair it. Ooh, this is heavy. God, gee. Look at that. It's a stretch. I'm not going to yank on it too hard. Oh, it's a Chico's. Those are, um, they've always really sold for me well on Poshmark. Guys, if you're interested on my Poshmark or my Etsy, I'll have them listed in the description box down below. What is this? Oh, I think it's a um, religious one. Like a saint. Yeah. It looks like it's very, um, very worn. I don't know who it is. They, usually they say it in the back. But, oh, they do. this is she missing her other arm or maybe she's singing I don't really know that's different and a little bear Lancaster Pennsylvania right is that what PA is I think so this is double-sided yeah it has a um, it has the name of the um, the saint on it usually on but the it back. says Virgo Virgo and Carmeli. Well, this appears to be broken as well, um, but this is beautiful. Um, and it, it doesn't look like it's missing any rhinestones, which is just nuts to me. Uh, I'm gonna set this aside and see if I can't repair it. This is, looks like um, dyed, dyed some kind of natural element. This is a clip. I'm going to toss it. Sorry about that. I need you. This is... Well, I'm glad when you need me because it makes me feel needed. Oh, that's funny. No, I just uh, need his leg with my knee. Um, okay, this is a vintage um, necklace. I've got a lot of vintage necklaces, which is nice. I just all wish that they were in good condition. But this one appears to be, so winner, winner, chicken dinner on that one. Put that in the necklaces. I'm going to pull out myself because I want to feel surprised. I mean, this is a okay. fossil. Ooh. Um, well, fossil's a good brand. Solid brand, I would gather. Ugh. I have literally no nails right now. Um, the watch band looks a bit worn. A lot of worn, but maybe I can clean it up and see if it works. Oh, there's a watch. This looks like... It's missing a lot, and it's something. Go ahead and put that in the craft, craft lot. lot. Ouch, I'll my fingernail. No big deal. Um, this is, oh, this is pretty. This is a um, screw back earring. Silver tone. It's not missing any of its rhinestones. That's to the side. Here, I feel surprised on those orange ones. Wow, look at these orange ones. These are actually so cute. I love them. They look like candy. But they're not. They're so pretty. Let's see if they say anything on the class. Doesn't say anything. But it's vintage and it's in really great shape. Put that in the. No, this is, I feel like this is gonna be a long video. Um, okay, so this is some more suede with. This feels cold, so this might be some kind of agate or maybe it's um just a glass bead put this in the necklaces Ooh. Ooh. oh i think it's an ornament a little ball or music yeah goes like that let's see has a, a lot of worn spots but that's okay it's vintage and it looks like it has all of its rhinestones so that's pretty cool gold tone Put that in the brooches, good sir. Oh, an American flag. We're feeling patriotic. Let's see. Oh, oh. 
It's a plastic yeah. popper. It's I what Devin likes these. to call a bing bing. Oh, and we used to get is. those at the local uh, uh, putt -putt. arcade. Yeah. What arcade putt putts, plastic bing bing. There's an oh, there it is. It's a token. <gasps> Fifteen pence. Oh, shut up! <gasps> My. She doesn't have asthma or anything. It is an Queen Elizabeth. <gasps> the People second... make jewelry out of those queens. I've been, England. oh my God, literally probably like, I don't know how many videos ago, I told, I told in the video that I wanted earrings made from these. Oh my gosh, I'm never, this well, is Well, now mine. say that you don't want to have to pay for any bills so that that could happen too. All right, cool. I don't want to pay for any bills. Um, I really don't, but you know. Um, okay, so this looks like, oh golly, this looks like it's vintage as well. My goodness, that is gorgeous. Uh, it feels cold, it might just be a dyed something or maybe even just resin. I'm, I'm not 100% certain on that. I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit closer at a later time, but gosh, this is gorgeous. That is beautiful. Put that in the necklace is very, very cute. More. Okay. Oh, ooh. Who are you? Does this say Koro? Wow, that's nice. I wonder if that's, I can't tell if that's like a natural stone or if that's resin. I'm gonna have to take a peek at that at a later time, but that's Koro, cool beans. Put that with the earrings, please, sir. Okay, looks like we have another, no surprise here, but broken um, pearl necklace. So I'll, I'll take a gander at that later. Here is the other skull, skeleton. Yeah. It's uh, quite green and very worn and sad to say it's gonna go in the bin with its friend. So <clears throat> here we go, here's the next thing I'm pulling up. Looks like another vintage earring as it is a screw back very pretty and it has the rhinestone which is just wonderful oh this looks like a little um pear cute i think it might be um well, if it's like by ceramic. itself is it still a pear <laughs> Ooh, this is cute oh <laughs> <laughs> it surprised me because it had the double C's, but I'm like, there's no way. It's Coach. something. Um, it's more like Chanel. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chanel. Yeah, it's just a nice little watch. Very nice. I'm going to have to look up what the symbol is because it, it gave me a gasp. <laughs> Here, I found okay. this for you. Oh, you found the other one? Thanks, guy. This is... Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it. It's just it's just very green, very sad. I don't I don't know about that. Okay, this this feels like um this feels like hematite, but I don't it's not picking up anything, so it's not it's not hematite. Hematite is uh magnetic. So maybe it's just some kind of something. I don't know. That with the necklaces? Is this the necklace Is this pile? Your no. no, that's my tangled pile. Oh. <laughs> that's just a bunch of tangles. This is cute. This is like um, those um, countdown to Christmas swirlies that you clip off, like maybe you did in school. Oh, it has a little tag on it. See what it says? Avon. Right on. Just a gold tone um, chain. Oh, look at this. This. Oh, is it a brooch? Yeah, yes. it's a brooch. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. Very nice. Those snakes, maybe? No. Interesting. Okay. Right on. Okay, we'll put that with the brooches. Oh, okay. Oh, and this is... Ooh, how pretty. Let me 
very pretty and it doesn't appear to be missing any rhinestones that's so nice that's gorgeous did you do this one? yes i did oh here we go <gasps> hello kitty oh my gosh this is cool but also garbage <laughs> this is also um plastic beads for children put that with the hello kitty and this is um this they, they have a little bit of weight to them these pearls and they're all irregularly shaped so these might be uh, freshwater pearls or um potato pearls i'm not sure but i'm gonna put these with the um the good stuff then let's see here it's another watch it appears to say Anne Klein, which I believe is a good brand. I'm not 100% I'm not certain, but there is a little bit of wear on the inside of the watch band, which maybe a little Dawn soap can fix, but uh, either way, nice. I already looked at this one. Did you? Yeah. Like in, uh, untangling them. He's, uh, he's not being a very healthy helper. No. Ooh, these are... Because if I get to talking, you got to edit three hours of video you That's can't true. use. Well, I mean, it's not that I can't use. It's it's just that... Nobody wants to sit and I don't think anyone wants to. Hours. Yeah, this is nice. I've had um, a... This is a more detailed one. It's like it's just a resin molded rose. Um, very pretty in color. I'm going to put this in the pendants. Ooh, look at that. Um, um, yeah, I'll know. put that There's off to the side. No more <laughs> Um, this is, um, very pretty. It doesn't have a sign or anything. There's a little bit of wear on the actual brooch clip itself, but that doesn't take away the beauty of the front. It's not missing any of the rhinestones. Gorgeous. You want to put this with the brooches, good sir? Oh my gosh. I think we found another liquid silver. Holy smokes. Okay, so this... Wow, yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and this is the magnet. Okay, so I had something like this happen before where the actual beads picked up, but this this part did not, the liquid silver portion. So I don't know if that means it's been repaired or if they've used beads that were not sterling silver. I'm, I'm not 100% certain about that, but um, this is the second necklace that I have that the, the beads, the accent beads, were magnetic, so um, maybe they're plated? I'm not 100% certain, but this is cool. Um, we'll have to put, a, put this in the test pile. Um, this looks like it's like a resin um, beads, maybe? I'm not too sure, it's a different kind of texture. If I had to wager, kind of looks like uh, unboiled noodles. Huh. Well, there's that. Sometimes you can't take away from your noggin. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a a bird. What sign in the back? Paloma. Oh, it's a laurel birch. Um, she does that cat. Um, yeah. Oh. These are earrings. Cool, I have another pair of Laurel Birch earrings that I haven't got around to um, showing. <gasps> Ooh, oh, it's adjustable, I hope, and it's not broken. Very cute, oh, it looks vintage. Mm, not picking up on some magnets. That's exciting and it's beautiful. Emerald cut blue stone. My camera does not want me to focus. Cool. I'll put that with the test pile. Let's see what else. Oh, uh, this one. I I loved these beads when I was a kid. Very fun. Um. Okay, another stretch. I'm gonna try not to Hulk stretch it out. Oh, this is the Tree of Life. Looks like maybe at one point there was another pendant or or something. But this is nice, it feels like plastic beads. Very nice. Oop. Oh, that's fancy. Maybe it's vintage. 
a nice little gold tone brooch. Very pretty. Looks like a gold tone earring in very great condition. Ooh, very cute. A little dirty, but that's okay. Earring. Ooh, oh, Canada. The Canadian flag. It's a tack pin. Very cool. Oh, that's nice. The pendant. I thought it was a ladder. But it could be a ladder. Who, put a, yeah, who would put a ladder on so as you can see, the chain itself is silver tone, and so is the pendant itself, but it's pretty. Very nice. Go ahead and put that with the necklaces. This is a broken, but I do believe this may have gone together at one point. Put that in the cloth lock. Ooh, the 80s called. They want their earring back. Very fun. Funky and fresh. Another, another D? How did I get so lucky? I swear if I find, oh, it's a pin. You wanna wear this? One. So you always carry a little, a little D with you? <laughs> She's funny. Um, oh, it's missing some rhinestones here. Bummer. Go ahead and toss this guy. Let's see. Ooh, I see something very cute. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. And it's not missing any rhinestones. I may have to hold on to this. I don't know why, but for some reason, I have fallen in love with 60s style flower brooches. The more crazier the color the better for me I love it I love it so much I'll put these with the other necklaces and I think for purposes of time I'll go ahead and end this video um, if you watched it so far and if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up um, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so um, stay tuned for the next one while we unbox this and, and much much more thanks for watching guys